All right, so you've gone through all the steps and have basically set up everything and the almost final step, um, you've got an optional uh, last step that you can do after this one, but in a lot of cases, this is the last step that you'll be doing is setting up your, your tracking links. And these are the links that you'll actually put into your traffic sources um, um, like Google, Plenty of Fish, AdWords, um, to, to start tracking your traffic. Um, there are two kinds of links that you can generate, one for direct links and simple landing pages, and one for advanced landing pages. Let's look at the direct and simple landing page link setup first, and then we'll look at the other one later. So in our example, we were setting up one for lead gen for tracking 202, so we go through and pick the settings and then you can choose direct link or if you want to send it to the landing page you pick landing page and then pick the simple landing page that we predefined and then for ad copy if you don't have any ad copy um, text defined in the system you can leave this blank or you could pick your ad copy and you'll see that you see a preview of the ad copy that we made earlier so this is number one, number two, we'll pick number one for now. And then for cloaking, I usually just leave this here because um, we'll, we'll use whatever the campaign setting is. You can also override this specific link by um, turning on cloaking on or off. For the PPC network, you pick your traffic source and then the account. And then this is the amount that you're paying for each click. So for example, this could be 10 cents a click. And then you've got the options of um, passing in um, four custom variables. So you could use this to track a lot of other things. Let me start off with an example of tracking the ad copy. I mentioned before that it's optional to create um, uh, text ads because you could do it in the tracking link. And basically, all you do is do add version one, and that would be this ad right here. So instead of creating an ad, you just say that it's add version one, and you'll see it in your uh, conversion tracking reports. The only downside to this is that you have to know what ad version 1 is and using this method you don't have to remember it because you'll see it in your back end. And this is stuff that's hidden from people who are not in your system so you can be as descriptive as you want. And then maybe for C2 we may want to track like the age ranges so we'll put like 25 to 35 and then um, you may want to track um, us like the the ad size 125 by 125 for example and then maybe track one more let's see here US only so we've created these for custom these are all optional you don't need to use them and finally, generate your tracking link. So we'll scroll down, and this is the tracking link that's created. You grab this link and paste it into your traffic source. And finally, we've got this T202KW, which is like a dynamic variable that you can pass into, um, into you can pass data into the software. So for example, if we want it to pass in a keyword, it would just be keyword for like a network like AdWords. And that's all you have to do, or you could pass in hard-coded stuff like my keyword. And you'll see that in your SpyView reports. I'll show you an example. 